what do I know? <laughs> like when to use? How how do I get the cards ready? You stack the cards in a way that that you know what's coming and that you get the, you you prepare a combo for it. No, absolutely. So what I do if I am preparing for a combo is I will hold the card. Um, and I will not play it. I will literally sit there, hold it. Once I have like 12 to 15 mana, I'm going in and I'm one tapping. Like I'm gonna go combo. And especially in the 1v1s or the later stages of the game, you wanna card manipulate and you want to make sure you have as much air C5s in your hand as possible. You save up mana and then within a five second burst window, you unleash everything and then you try to hit it all and, and they'll just die. So I have like, one knock up, one stun, one stun, and an air C5. What I would do to set up is I would just stun first, fall up next, he's chain CC'd, I air C5 into his face, and then he's just gonna take all that damage. So I'd probably just do like leaping bonk, fall up, fall up, card shark. When I card shark, my fall up comes back. I discard one, I fall up again. He's falled up, I tailwind dash, he's knocked up again. So you guys see how like I'm just CC chaining. That's my main um, play style. Like, I just don't want to let people play. I think if people can't play, I will win, you know? How could you tell that your opponent had casted Card Shark, the, their Apostle? Yeah, so it shows like on the rogue, like on top of the rogue's head, there's like a card. And it's literally oh. like the shape of a card. Yeah, so it's like a yellow card. Um, so I just see that visually, but everything has a sound cue and everything has a visual cue. So if you learn those things, like you'll just know when people use things and, and you can kind of get a feeling of uh, like when you when hear a have... flash in a league. Yeah, exactly. Like you know that flash. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Uh... So sound cues are very important um, and visual cues very important. There's nothing that'll teach you that other than experience. So my planet is like, it's very specific to my playstyle. Okay. I have Tailwind Dash to interrupt people and not let them cast. I have Cold Water Ritual as an AoE for Apostle Killing and I have Gustwing Unbound as my Avatar Killer. Is, is there such thing as a counter in, in this game? Yeah, there is, there's definitely counters. My counter would, would be like the pure air planets, but it's definitely like who hits the air C5s accurately. I don't think there's any hard counters. There may be some, for example, like if someone is playing air and the opponent uses earth, earth will usually win, I would say like a 60-40 sort of thing. But if the air player is just that much better in terms of skill, the air player will win. Because I know in Axie, it's kind of fixed, right? Because it's more so like a card game. It's not an action game. If you play AoE versus Rage, right? AoE has like a 70-30 chance to win. You can usually just like get them to 50%, wing horn, and then you win the game, right? But in Aperon, like that percentage chance is going to be heavily based on your skill level individually as a player. Thank you.